Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plan, playing a whole different type of board game for a strategy game. I'm playing Open Transport Icon Deluxe, a game I didn't know my watchers wanted to see until the recent Q&A. What is Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe Beta Plan? For the people who don't know it. Well, Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe is the fan-based expanded game Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which allows you to build a transport company of, well, passengers, mail, freight of whatever you have, oil, rubber, gold, oils, over water, in the air, and over the land via trains, trucks, boats, duh, if you want to go over the war, and via helicopters or airplanes, what have you not. All of that is possible, and to even more. For instance, if you want to have something additional, you can check, for instance, for online additional content, open things that you can download for yourself, which I also have done for this. Let's play. As you can see, I have downloaded, for instance, some, well, AIs. AIs that require, well, oh, give a little bit more of a different feels to it. By the way, I have learned that for me, Choo Choo is not working, so I want to download another one. Trains is a competitive that plays only with trains, which more or less also is what Choo Choo wanted to do, to build nice looking train works. So I'm just gonna say, for instance, I want trains, I will download trains, and voila, all of a sudden I have the trains AI also now in my game. You can also, oh, for instance, download scenarios from the region where you live in. Do you live in South London, Wales? Well, you can download it. Uh, you can go for South Sweden, Stockholm, even so as local as that, but also for much larger areas, like for instance, uh, now I have to look it up, uh, or oh, oh, even closer, Brandenburg, Berlin. Two very, very large things, like I have to look it up now, but that's... Oh, I'm in the wrong... Right, right, right. Very smart beta plan. If you're looking for something, don't go perhaps out of the map. Yeah, you can play as the largest Russian. Oceania, which is, well, Australia, New Guinea, and, uh, well, and uh, New Zealand, and what have you, parts of that all. Oh, for instance, your own country. For me, that would be the Netherlands. You can download a lot of things. All of these... Mm, there's a lot of big fan base for Open Transport like Kunda Locks, and they have done a lot of stuff. You can get all kinds of new stuff. You can get... No, oh, I yeah, have, for instance, a generic tram setting. I just wanted that, so I got it. Uh, having trams in the game as well, um, next to trains and what have you not. I uh, very much enjoy that. That's something you can do. As said, I have now all kinds of AIs. And uh, for this time around, I thought we were going to play in Cuba. Yes, indeed. We want to play in Cuba because, well, this to me looks like a very, very nice map to play in. And this should be all correct uh, according to the geographics and the height map and even industries. Which also is, for instance, for... Uh, let me abandon the game for a second. If I would play, for instance, in Hawaii. Well, I would love to play in Hawaii. I would love to be in Hawaii with my girl standing right below the waterfalls and kissing her. Only one problem. I don't have a girl. Yeah, so, no, anyways, what I meant by this map is that, uh, well, there is a lot, a lot of water. And you have very little room to move in and to play with. So, yeah, I don't really want to do this map. And I don't want to do... A which map where well, you won't be seeing half of the map itself. So I was looking for something very interesting. And what I have decided to play is, is as Cuba. I know I don't have any, well, watchers currently from Cuba. So that is perhaps a little bit unfortunate. And then I go for this. But that also will make it a little bit, on the other hand, very nice and, you know, neutral. No person is going to get pissed at me for... Why are you playing in Sweden? I'm coming from Norway, or... Well, of course I should be playing Sweden, because heck, you're Swedish, and, uh... Or, I don't know, uh... There are so many things that you can come up with that people might get a little bit annoyed, but, uh, well... We are going to play as Cuba. The funny thing about the scenario is that the person says, well, it's a communist country, so as one... If you had the rule of the 
industry of the railroad system and what have you not how would you do everything in cuba but this is the beta plan so we're going to do it a wee little bit different what I want to do here is, well, I have done some custom settings, difficulty settings. I wanted to create something between medium and hard. So I will get four competitors. I will have, well, this I can't change. Unfortunately, that is a Z grayed out, which is probably part due to the fact that we are playing a scenario that I downloaded. I, uh, I do want a little bit of vehicle breakdown reduced, and I'm going to decrease the subsidies from times four to times three because, well, it is a country of communists. They don't have that much money. I'm sorry, but it's just a fact. I do also want disasters on, just to make it a wee bit difficult. Uh, well, difficult. Interesting, shall we say? All right, then. And, uh, well, I have already looked a little bit around the map. Of course, we could go to the capital, La Habana. And yes, indeed. Uh, do I say? Yeah, it's La. It's all with the proper Spanish name. So if you see a name, you're like, I, I don't know the city, or th that's normally not pronounced the way. Well, uh, supposedly, this is how they pronounce it on the islands. But we are going to go to Santa Fe. Because this... Uh, Game as set is about transporting things, and if I look at this island, map world, and I put on the industry, it has, for instance, a rubber plantation, two wood, two lumber mills, I want to say wood mills, but lumber mills, sorry, that's wood mills, or is, I don't even think that's a proper word, and a copper ore mine. All of this is something that a factory accepts. Rubber, copper ore, and wood. So we can develop this one little island with a ton of stuff by just playing on this island. So let's see. Well, let's first look at ourselves. I do not even look remotely like that. Not even... No, not, no, not even... In this, this, forget it. First of all, I am sorry, but I am European. Secondly, I... Uh, well, I... Well, I currently have a bit of a mustache, a little bit of a ring beard, actually, so... Do, do we do we have ring beards? I don't think that is yet implemented in the game. Hey, mud makers, I cannot put in my ring beard. Uh, of course, we're going to go with the cool glasses, and there we go. Uh, on the hair change. Oh, oh, I like that hair type. Nice and wavy. Let's look at the rest. Nope, yet. Well, that's the same thing, but at a different color. Um, but the that doesn't really match the mustache, now, does it? Uh, I say we're going to go with we here. This this man that looks pretty good. Um, chin. Oh, I want it to be a strong chin, but not a crazy chin. We're going to go with chin two. Uh, the jacket. Uh, yeah, that that looks fine. A little bit of red, you know. That's ooh, a little bit of color in my color. Mm, oh, oh yes. Let's do a little bit too crazy. Uh, wine colors like, and uh, ah, there we go. And the background color, can we change that? The eye color doesn't really matter. You know what, let's go with this. Fine. You know, there we go. Our manager name, but well, we are B Plan, of course. B Plan. There we go. And that will make us B Plan Transport, but that is not correct, in my opinion. We are going to be called... Uh, now, the problem is I can't copy the Santa Fe... Hold on, let me see if I can copy that by trickery. Uh, rename. Can I... Can I shift... No, I cannot shift that. Fricker, 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 fricker. No, I could not take it. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, um... We just had a spelling error. <clears throat> okay, everybody, we, we, we are some tough... Santa F. Why not the Santa Transport? Let's just, let's just, you know, Santa Transport. Wah. And because we are in a communist country, and because we are not called Santa Transport at all, we are going to call, say that we all have the color scheme, not as pink, but as freaking in red. <clears throat> we should have a beard and a little bit wider hair. If you didn't get the joke yet. So, uh, yes, we are going to be Santa Transport. Santa Transport, and we are going to build our very first lines here on this island, which I actually don't know the name of, because this is the Archipelago de la Cañeras. But, that's Cayo Largo, but it doesn't say what the heck this island is called. Oh, so... 
Yeah, no, bit of land perhaps. Open your eyes. Isla de la Juventud. That almost sounds like it's a prison for, for juvenile delinquents, but uh, okay. <clears throat> so you can build railroads, you can build roads, waterways, airports, and what have you not. And you can, of course, entirely shape the land. So we here have an industry, and we have two cities that are very, very close by, who I would love to connect, but I also would love to connect, well, the industry up here. So we have... We want to bring in the rubber, but that we can do by bus, by, 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 by lorries, and that's pretty close by. As we can do, perhaps... Well, I think, you know what, we're, we're going to go all out. Three tracks, and we're going to make them the length of three. So that we can bring all of that stuff, and we need to at least have you. And now we are connected to the road immediately, right? So if we put one here... Now the city still need to grow, but this will be a fine spot, I believe. Let's figure this out. Is this smart? Wait a second, if we put here an industry, then we can also make the that, that lower just go there. That's also then a really short trip. And we should be careful about the number of... about how much money we spend. Um... Yeah? This looks good to me. This is a start. Oh. Bloody hell, man. There we go. We'll start with this. Alright, that's our start. But that is not where we're going to finish. We are going to finish, unlike in normal Transporter Good Lux, who only allows this, and who only allows a certain amount of connections, we can do here a lot more. We are going to add on this side a lorry. We are going to add a lorry station on this side. And now we have two lorry s sides on both... Uh, two lorry stations on both sides of the, the railroad. Right? And we can therefore connect and have these two woods bring... Uh, these two wood mills connected right here. Oh, sorry, wood mill and rubber mill. And we have one train that will go here and one train that will go all the way down there although it's not extremely that long but this will be a very very interesting station i also don't think it should be called new Gorona reforce it should be called new Gorona santa fe unfortunately it did not fix santa fe as the main thing which is of course the one i can't really do mm, properly but let's put it like that um all right and then we are going to connect up the roads. So that is... All the way up here. Yes. And then the question is... Is the lorry station here enough already? Nope, it needs to be there. So... Then we are going to put it off pause again. And there we go. Excellent. And then we need... Something here. Now, uh, let me make for a moment... Where is that again? I always forget. Transparent buildings. That's... I want to have the... No? Well, that's fine by me. Transparent... Signs. But I kind of wanted the, the, the forest to be... Transparent? Was that still possible? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let me just check here. Is there a road here? Yes, there is. Alright. That's good then. That's fine. Then we're going to ask for a lorry station over here. This should get us wood. Perfect. Alrighty now. And because we would like these two cities to be connected, we are going to continue with this road connected over there. That sounds lovely to me. And I think I'm going to demolish this road. Now, before anyone goes screaming or shouting, why will you do that? Well, I'm already going to explain. No worries. I am getting to it. I get later on connected here, of course, with, well, some water uh, connections. So, therefore, I want to have it around that area. Um, the most central location is actually this house. 
But that takes a bit of the road away, so it doesn't really need to go there per se. Hmm. And if I put it here, it will take this row, but it doesn't take extra road with it. That might might be a good idea, to just do it like this. Ask if we may demolish this. Alright, that is not, not always guaranteed, to be honest. Um, and we'll demolish this. Hopefully they will understand that they will need to build a building over there. Um, and then we can start building things for real. Starting to get our industry up. We will build ourselves something over there. Which is a road depo deposit. Thanks to this little building we can start building trucks and what have you not. So we are going to build a new vehicle. First we're going to build a bus. Not allowed about poles. That is always so annoying. Alright. You are going to go from New Girona to Santa Fe Central. Now all of a sudden you call this Santa Fe Central. Oh, because you call this Santa Fe. You bloody bastard. Uh, Alright, you may go away. First of all, I'm going to rename this. Uh, you are Santa Fe Rubber. Or Santa Fe South. Let's just... Should we ever develop this? The funny thing is that the more you do put more stations in a certain area, and more you put money into an area, the more it grows. So would you, for instance, like it to start in... Well, an area you live in. Uh, South Wales, or... Uh, Iberia or Sweden or what have you not oh then you can just put your money where you want the most development to come out of and the advantage of that is uh, we need two trucks the advantage of that is that you can do whatever the hell you like if you live in some very small city in South Wales and you put all your money there there is a good chance that it will grow bigger than London if you do it right so that could be just very very funny for you I did not wish to um, delete because I didn't don't know exactly how I did that to be fairly honest uh, unload all that is one now the other truck which goes from there and takes all cargo, then goes to New Verona Santa Fe and unloads all. Alright. Now we copy both trucks, which is not allowed because we are paused. There we go. And with that, we all of a sudden have five trucks running around. Bringing all any wood, and then we can bring. Oh, as soon as they build different buildings here, we can do even more. And why do I say that? Well, this factory turns this wood that we bring to it, and this rubber that we bring to it, and this copper ore that we bring to it into goods. But currently, none of these houses accept the goods. One eight mil, one eight food, and until you have, of course, the full number, then you can bring something to it. But they don't accept goods yet. For that, they need to become office buildings and what have you not. But uh, yeah, well, we don't have any trains yet, so we are going to build some trains first, however. In order to, uh, well, get more wood. More wood and develop this part of the island to our heart's content. I must say, it's a little wee bit... I can't see if I can build here. Land sloped in the wrong direction. Sloped in the wrong direction. I don't really see how. Um, not allowed by paused. Um, okay. And now I by accident already have built something over there, so they won't allow me to do it. Luckily, if you demolish railroad, you get a wee bit of your money back. There we go. Okay, I see. There's a little hill over here. Um, even more railroad than I my accident already placed. As our first buses arrive. Oop, that was a little bit more money than I had liked. 
I'm sorry I removed a hill from the, uh, perhaps the area you live in. Well, probably you don't, because I know that I have no watchers in Cuba. I uh, like to look sometimes at my statistics and see where everybody is coming from that is watching my channel. Um, yeah, there's still a hill over here, which is blocking our path a little. Which is causing this issue. I really need to cut down here a little bit. I'm sorry. I I normally don't like... Oh, that is in the way. That last good. Um. Oh well. Is that not fine? Is this fine? Oh, there it goes wrong. There it puts up. I don't... It's uh, really hard to see with those trees in the way. There we go. Now I know what's going on. And for you, I like a very small train to be here and pick up the wood. You, indeed, will pick up wood. Candle in Santa Fe local for, uh, refuse to allow this. Well, that is unfortunate. And that is where, whoa, we get blocked a little. We need to first have Santa Fe like us a little more before we finally allow us to, well, build a little bit more in their area. Apparently we have done so much construction they consider us a little bit destructive for the environment. And, uh, well, they don't like that. And that is simply what it comes down to. If I go here, do I know? I think I need to go just a wee bit further. Um, I would still end up at the wrong place. I now have built it anyways. That is not what I wanted to do. They will allow me to build this station, interestingly enough. Alright, then we will take that. And as you can see, well, having a little bit of water at a certain point is not a problem. That is not a problem. What they do dislike is if you will uh, put your, even like on a slope like this, you can build a building. They, it will automatically fill in a little bit of the area as if it was filling up a slope, much like, um, is there a house over here that has that? Yes, like this house that has this little rim here that makes sure that, uh, well, you have level ground. So let's make ourselves a train that is going to carry copper ore. And therefore we're going to say one, two, oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I know this? Well, my station is free long. Per station you can have two units. Two units and can be, um, uh, well, added. If you put a train longer, it will arrive, but well, it will have a little bit of uh, problems with uh, unloading and doesn't will take a lot longer. In a sense, it would be very ineffective. Alright then. There you see, it is just exactly good enough. Except nothing, it should produce iron ore. And our train is getting full. I must say, it's not the best copper ore mine. I hope that this... Uh, <clears throat> A little train of mine will become... Uh, oh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the word in English here. Santa Fe refuses to allow this. Santa Fe, could I persuade you in some other way to allow me to do this? This is really annoying. <laughs> They will agree, allow me to build it over here. A little longer than I wanted to, but alright. That they will allow. Build one another here. I don't like it if tracks cross one another, so I'd rather have to build a new little building in order to create a train. I uh, I should have built a gasoline diesel, by the way, for this train. Uh, that was a bit dumb. Uh, I will go with this one. It does have a lot better reliability, though. Than the castling at the moment, but that will change. Don't get me wrong, that will change. I don't have the money. 
Oh dear, we need to take, borrow a little bit more money, a little bit more cash, in order to get this industry going. Get this train moving. I want you to full load over here and then go over here. And I want you to unload all. And, well, having built all that, we have built up our industry. But there's more, one more thing we need to do before we end the episode. We are definitely now the, well, company of this island. So we need to build, I believe, our headquarters over here. And by the way, I just noticed that there is another AI building. So I say, our headquarters, I know it will accept goods and a lot of stuff as, as it grows and grows and grows and grows. So I think we need to build our headquarters somewhere where, well, it can aid us. Hmm. Actually, it almost looks like this is not connected. Is that true? Is this not connected? It wasn't. Well, that was unfortunate. Um. Where are we going to build it? Are we going to build over here? No, we want it actually to attract on this side. Um. I always want to build it over here, but I can't. <laughs> um, well, actually, why not build it over here? That doesn't look like a bad spot. Can't build it because we're paused. No, we're not. We have our headquarters, and our headquarters in itself, as you can see, that logs currently for passengers and mail only, but as it grows, as our company grows, it will grow and hench and will accept Francis goods. And yes, there is a new company started. They have built, holy heck, they have immediately built a huge airport. Well, that's because, well, their AI, as I said in the beginning, as we set them, let me see here, uh, AI settings, there are different ones. This is a right AI, apparently. Now, right AI, well, they like to build airplanes. Perhaps I should set the other ones to, well, do something different so that we don't have four competitors that only build planes. But for now, we're going to end the episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.